for me, my artwork started out by painting iconic figures, figures that I had a strong interest in, figures that I would see online, on the internet. Um, a lot of times they would be the popular photos such as, you know, Marilyn Monroe, uh, the, um, you know, the famous singers, the, the popular sports stars. And I would use all these, you know, bright, bold colors and, and really just, you know, focus on appealing to a wide range of people. Um, but I eventually transitioned to painting people that have more of a personal connection uh, to me. And so I started painting Muhammad Ali quite a bit uh, due to the reason I'm from Louisville. Uh, you know, you, you hear about his story, the details within the story. I, I live close to the neighborhood that he grew up in. And when I had that opportunity to really go to the Muhammad Ali Center and, and you know, see a lot of people who actually knew of him uh, personally, it, it kind of made sense to me. It made sense to continue to focus on, you know, these people who had a lasting impact and not just an impact in fame and, and entertainment. And so I transitioned a lot of my artwork from my iconics to uh, people who resonated with me based on their, their, their morality, based on their focus, based on their drive, based on their purpose in life. And so I transitioned to painting black figures, figures who uh, represented not only myself, but everyone that looked like me. And so for me, it was really important to continue to capture you know, those people, continue to seek out people who had a story to tell and, and, and express their story through my art. Um, another, you know, prime example that really helped me understand why that was an important purpose was when the movie Black Panther came out. And, and, and so I like to explain to people that the Black Panther effect really had a, a resonating effect on me because I got a chance to see how beautiful black culture was on a mass scale. And so representing black culture in that way and getting a chance to see black culture and its beauty, the colors, the representation of black people in a way that was royal, that was consistent, that was really uh, mainstream was, was one thing that I wanted to be a part of. And so I felt like the more that you continue to show and represent uh, the things that you want to be and the things that you represent, the more the people will be able to appreciate it. And um, what, what's interesting about that fact is that as I was painting iconic paintings and I was painting people who uh, were, you know, just pretty consistent and very popular, my artwork wasn't as popular. My artwork was pretty, you know, customary, pretty, very, very similar to a lot of other people's. But when I started painting people who resonated with me on a personal level, you know, people who told a story, people who had a story to tell, more people started to pay attention. And so I really dove, you know, head first into the concept of painting uh, my people, painting a story that, you know, I resonated with and, and, and focusing on that story in a way that could amplify their voice. So uh, along with my artwork being predominantly African-American figures, uh, I do paint other, more than just African-American figures, but my artwork highlights, you know, people that, that are like me. And I know that in the Black History Month, we 100%, you know, really detail uh, our time to really amplify the voices of Black people. But I'm a firm believer that Black history is every day. And black history is, is, is every month. And it's something that I try to live within my artwork. I appreciate Black History Month and I appreciate the opportunity to uh, have the stories told on a consistent platform. But I, I feel like it is so important for someone like myself to continue to push that narrative each and every day in such a way that people have to pay attention. And if my artwork grabs the attention of uh, a select few people and they think about the, the, the storyline and the, and, and the vision that these people that I've painted, then I've done exactly what I've set out to do. So I, I'm excited about the opportunity to share my work through Black History Month, but I will always continue to paint and focus and, and share my work year round throughout uh, so that people understand that Black people have such an impact on this nation uh, and our American history.